Today, I painted this picture of John McLean from Die Hard. Stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you what worked, what didn't, and what I'd do different if I painted this picture again. Pushing buttons is super fun, so if you like this kind of video, why not do one of these? I really enjoy the interaction. Now let's get into it. So not too much went wrong with this picture, I'm very happy to say. Uh, when I was doing the background, I did miss a small spot here. I actually thought the picture covered more of this, this whole sort of area, this whole quarter of the page. That could have easily been avoided by me just dusting the first stencil uh, to show where paint was, was actually needed in the background, but the end result turned out really good in my opinion. Really happy with the way this background turned out. 
while I was putting the stencils on, I was really worried there wouldn't be any definition uh, between his shoulder here and uh, the black of the background, but I actually really like the effect of, of the, the whites and greys popping out uh, over, over the black of his shoulder. The stencil application was really good. I did have a little bit of bleeding on uh, some of the whites and uh, I had a little bit of trash stick in the picture uh, between coats and I'll put a clip in this section to show why. Now the reason that there was a bit of trash in the paint was purely because of the location of my little painting station. You can see I've got the painting station in the corner of my workshop. Previously I had it uh, up in this corner here uh, right by the door and if you can tell right now uh, it's actually quite hot in here. Having it by the door with the breeze was quite nice but the trade-off being that I was getting a lot of wind blow some trash up while I had wet paint. So now I've moved the entire shop around just to accommodate having my painting station in the back of the shop and that's actually given me the solution to two problems. One being the wind and the trash in the paint and the second being able to control the lighting a bit better uh, with the sun glare off of the driveway and coming in under the door very difficult to balance the light between multiple cameras uh, and now hopefully I'll be able to control that a little bit better uh, with a few LED lights you might be able to see up behind me. So really happy with the, the way that I made the stencils. It was a, a five layer piece. I really feel like I did a great job determining the layers of this piece, the cutting of the stencil and the application with the way that I weighed the stencil down. This time around I used some little three gram fishing sinkers. Previously I was using nuts which aren't as heavy as the sinkers. And in the Handsome Jack video, the, the video that went up previous to this, I used spray glue. And I mentioned in that video after I'd filmed it that I wasn't a fan of spray glue. And I'll just reiterate it in this video. So a couple of failures I had before I got to the final piece. This one here on uh, one, two, three, on the third layer, I was actually using spray glue for these layers and the spray glue was reactivating the paint even though it was super thin and I had pressed it off prior to, to putting it on the picture. Spray glue reactivating the paint in the thicker areas and um, causing problems that you can see through this section here. My second attempt was this background and in all honesty I might still put the stencil on this background but I thought it looked a bit too Hawaiian I guess, uh, a bit too happy for a diehard picture. My third attempt, this one here, uh, same problem, trying to persist with the spray glue and the spray glue reactivating the paint uh, in a few spots. This is the picture that, that ultimately made me decide that spray glue is just a losing battle. Uh, and then of course we've got the, the final picture. The stencil application is fantastic. Previously I've been using Iron Lax Sugar. For this one I was using uh, just Iron Lax Lac paint. The difference in these two paints uh, apart from the chemical difference is that this one is low pressure and this one is high pressure and I definitely noticed a difference uh, between a low pressure and a high pressure using the same cap. A uh, big difference in application there but this whole picture apart from uh, some of the red was all done with high pressure paint and um, and that was noticed uh, when I applied it. And the final thing I did was on his cigarette there uh, I just came in with a paintbrush and, and did a little red dot. I uh, really think that that made a difference to the picture. Overall, so happy with how this turned out. Really happy with the way I designed the stencil from the original photo. This is a picture that I'm, that I'm really proud of. So that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Oh, don't forget to leave a suggestion of what you'd like to see me paint next in the comment section below.